Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you've never seen my face before and you end up enjoying this video, hit that red subscribe button down below. Become a part of the family before you go. This is gonna be a good one, you guys. It has been a long time since we've grocery shopped, like way too long. I have to sneeze. It has been a long time since I have went grocery shopping. Um, I think I did a little trip, if you guys saw, when we were like redoing the bedroom. I got like literally a few things, but other than that, that, we've been like eating out and like eating frozen foods and stuff so it's definitely that time um it's gonna be not like how we used to do those grocery trips were insane it's gonna be a big trip like bigger than a little haul so i wanted to bring you guys along it's been a while you know i want to get a lot of like fresh stuff we need meat and things like that i think we're gonna do trader joe's and Lidl today zane's coming with me maybe we'll do walmart possibly i don't know we're gonna see what he thinks what? 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 Come. You want to say hi? Oh, my baby. You want attention? I match you today. So, yeah. Grocery shopping today. Um, We're pretty... That was a big jump, bud. We're pretty empty in the fridge, so I'll show you guys that. Zane is getting his hair cut. I just got ready for the day. I'm wearing a very simple outfit. I, want, I like to be comfortable when we go grocery shopping. It looks like a simple black t-shirt, but we've got a party in the back. <laughs> Some blue butterflies. And then these are my favorite denim shorts from Abercrombie. They're just black. And then I'm just wearing Benji. What the heck? And then I'm just wearing my wannabe Birkenstocks from Boohoo. That is my outfit of the grocery shopping day. And I did my makeup and I was gonna put more effort and curl my hair, but then I realized like, since I washed it, uh, I don't remember the last time I washed it, maybe like two days ago, I've had it in like bun and pony like the whole time. So it turned into this like curly kindness. And I was like, honestly, it's really hot outside and my curls are just gonna like probably fall and be like sweaty and gross anyway. So let me just leave this like naturalness. So that's that's my hair today. I still need to put on perfume, which leads me to today's sponsor, which is Scentbird. So thank you so much to them for working with me. I've worked with them before and honestly love them so much because believe it or not, you guys, I am gonna be 24. Well, not until February, let me not age myself. I'm 23 and I do not have a signature perfume scent. I've always bought like random body sprays and things like that and like I need one. Like Zane always says like you need like for like Christmas gifts and stuff like he can get me like he has his signature cologne scent Like I don't have a perfume scent. So Scentbird really helps with that. Honestly, like I really need a perfume I'm not even kidding. <laughs> if you don't know what Scentbird is It is basically a monthly fragrance subscription where you can shop from over 600 brands They have cologne they have um, perfumes or unisex as well. It's very flexible You can skip any month if you need to they come in these cute little pouches and you pull it out and the design of these are really cool so this is what it looks like when you get it so here's what it looks like it's very compact you can put it in your purse travel with it whatever you twist it up and then you just spray it from there or you can also take it out like that and you can see how much they give you this is a 30-day supply so they give you a really decent amount it's like a rollerball amount rather than like those little samples that they give you at the store this one is Versace I really like this one actually I wore this yesterday when you spray it on yourself everybody's skin like reacts differently and can smell different on different people and you want to wear it throughout the day and see how it like lasts and everything like that so it's really fun that you get to try them out you know i don't want to butcher pronouncing this so here's the versace one <laughs> I just love these little cases too, like I'm obsessed. Then the next one that I got, I got a different color little package, so cute. This one is by Confessions of a Rebel, it's called Let's Be Real. I don't know if this one's gonna be 100% for me, but again, I wanna try it and see it like on my body smell. <laughs> Lastly, we've got this really pretty like purplish kind of packaging, it's like metallic. This one is by commodity commodity gold here's that one i think i'm gonna try this one today Ooh, this one's very light which i like the versace one was definitely like you would wear on like a night out it was like very strong this one's very light scented it's not like overly floral you know i don't like perfumes like that it almost smells like a fresh like body wash like you just smell clean Ooh, i like that one okay that one's my favorite out of the ones that i got for sure very everyday wearable anyways yeah i just wanted to tell you guys the fragrances that i got if you guys were interested but i think it's really cool that you get to test out some fragrances because who wants to go buy a full bottle of something and then end up like not really loving it you get to test these for like 30 days again a very generous amount 
amount in here like if you don't wear it every day it'll probably last you even longer than 30 days you know so Scentbird lets you choose a designer fragrance every month for only $16 you can also upgrade to two or three a month if you wanted to and you get to pick what you get every single month so it's not like any surprises they carry top designer brands that you already know and have heard of like DKNY or Versace for example but on the other hand they also carry like indie labels as well and all the fragrances are a hundred percent authentic so don't worry they work directly with the brands that it comes from and obviously if you don't know where to start and don't know how to pick a scent that you can't smell online they actually have a quiz which is really helpful it's a fragrance recommendation quiz so based on your scent preferences and previous purchases they'll help you find a fragrance that you'll love and with my code you guys it'll only be eleven dollars for your first month so I highly recommend you try it out why not you'll get 30 days worth of fragrance for only 11 bucks I will have all the information that you guys need at the top of my description down below make sure you use my coupon code Alyssa Rose for 30% off take their easy quiz only eleven dollars and they also have an app that is very convenient and easy to use so go check it all out this is when you know you guys this is when you know it's gonna be a good day it's cardboard day everybody yeah! so exciting I will say also that our pantry is like stacked on stacked so we need a loaf of bread but that's about it so our snacks are overflowing we have so much breakfast stuff even up here we've got sauces and cans and stuff like that maybe an extra ketchup actually we don't have a backup in here so we're good in there freezer is emptying out I want to get a lot of frozen veggies this is where I usually keep them and I want to go through them a lot more because I love vegetables but yeah probably a few frozen meals just to have because it's always helpful and here's our fridge so so I definitely want to get, there's some leftovers in Arizona in there. <laughs> um, we need some meat and fresh vegetables and salad stuff. So um, this is definitely going to be cleaned out and restocked when we get back. Alrighty, first stop is Trader Joe's. We're actually at a new location that, I mean, I've never been to before. Have you been here? No. No, I've never been to this one. So spice it up a little bit. This should be a quick trip. We honestly don't need much from here. So we'll see. It is in fact a hot one today, you guys. It is like 95, I think. Like Texas. Feels like Texas. Let's see. Actually, it says only 86, but the feels like is 90. It's pretty warm. Yeah, but what is it like 100% humidity? Oh, the humidity. Let me see. It is thick out there. It's thick, yeah. 53%. I think they're lying to us. It's not even that bad. It feels hotter than. It feels like hot, yeah. I think this one's bigger than the one that we go to. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna end up just getting a bunch of our staples. What else we got? You know. I've seen a lot of hype around this, babe. It's like creamy sauce. Sweet potato, sage, milky. There's, yeah, there's a, like a square right there. How much? This is what it was. Oh, wait, let me get milky. Yeah, the sweet potato one. Oh, no, they're out of the sweet potato gnocchi. That makes me sad. I feel like they're like. That's, oh, that's yeah. fire. Yeah, they're just talking about it now that they're out of it. Yeah. Here for. Reduce guilt mac and cheese. I saw on TikTok somebody say this is just smaller. That's why it's less calories than their regular portion. Mm, that makes sense. Zan's favorite veggie burgers. Wait, the masala burgers. I love these. These are so good. Best sourdough ever. I think that's literally it. <laughs> Unless there's something else that I can't think of. They don't have the sweet potato gnocchi. Want, oh, mini cookies? Or no? Oh. I say yes to mini cookies. Yeah, no, those are good. We okay. Where are they is the question. Oh, over they're, there? Yeah, they're top. Oh, I see them, I see them. Oh, I'm gonna grab a seasoning too and then we can go down that way. Done and done, only $55. I'm so proud of us. On to the next. You have Zane syndrome on your car. I have bird poop all over it, I know. How did that happen? I need to go through a car wash. Okay, a few things, you guys. A, I'm not feeling my hair. I definitely should have curled it this morning but I was lazy, so learn my lesson. This is good, like beachy hair, I guess, but I would prefer if it was like styled, I don't know. I used to not care at all what my hair looked like, but I actually really like the way it looks styled when I have extensions, so I should just take, it does not take long, like I should just do it. I actually have started doing it, like not even in two sections, I just do it in one section and it looks fine and it saves me time, so. Lesson learned, but it's not a big deal, we're not doing, we're just grocery shopping today, I'm not like doing a photo shoot or anything, so it's fine. We stopped home in between uh, Trader Joe's and Lidl. Trader Joe's are all like pretty far from us. They're all like 20 minutes away. It's like the closest one. So I wish we got a little more stuff since we made the trip there, but 
it's okay. They didn't have the sweet potato gnocchi, and also I totally forgot. I saw it on the shelf, and I was like, oh, let me go back and get that, and I forgot. But the burrata brigito flatbread in arugula, oh, I love it, but I forgot to get it. But we did get a lot of our staples, so I am happy about that. So I'm gonna show you what we got. We're gonna put it away because a lot of it's frozen and then we're gonna go to Lidl and get like all of our staples. These are like our fun stuff, you know? I mean, if I had Trader Joe's closer to me, then these would be more of our all the time staples. Anyways, there's a fly in here and Bailey, Bailey's trying to get it. So here we go. We really didn't get that much. I love this barbecue chicken teriyaki. I got some broccoli because sometimes Lidl, like depending on what time we go, they don't have a lot of frozen veggies. So I just wanna make sure. I go through these really quick anyway, so I can get more at Lidl, but I just wanna make sure we had some because I ran out. Um, These we've had before really liked them so this will be a good easy dinner for the next week the shawarma chicken thighs yum i got two of these cauliflower gnocchi i really like these in the air fryer with just with some sauce is delish never tried this but they're mac and cheese i wanted to try it out this is also new i've seen a lot of people rave about this the cacio di pepe it's pasta like frozen so we're gonna try that zane loves these um veggie burgers i actually don't think i've ever tried one i'm sure they're great i stocked up on some more everything seasoning i love these vegetable masala burgers this is my go-to sourdough obsessed these are our favorite little cookies if you go to trader joe's and you've never tried these please do so and thank me later i mean you probably might eat the whole tin but it is worth it and then I haven't seen I don't know if it's good or bad things about these I've just seen them so I wanted to try them out for myself tomorrow we're doing family cooking so I figured I can put them out with I don't know I'll see if Lidl has some sort of dip I should have looked at Trader Joe's but I gotta be honest with you guys I don't know if it's just the locations by us but they're small and they're very like rushed like I feel like when I'm looking at something somebody's behind me waiting to look at it and somebody's in front of me waiting to look at it like I feel very like rushed in that store so I don't know if it's just our locations but I feel like after like five minutes I'm like okay I gotta go this is like I can't even walk around which is a big reason why I don't really go to Walmart anymore because I felt like it was so crowded um they expanded the one over here so that's good but I just don't like shopping like that like feeling like people are waiting for me to move because I like to look at things read the labels you know Anyways, I gotta get dip for this. I'll look at Lidl, but um, I don't know if there was good reviews, bad reviews, but strawberry and jalapeno crisps. It just sounded really interesting. So we're gonna give it a, we're gonna give them a try. And that's all we got. Done and done, only $55. I'm so proud of us. Lidl, we're gonna get meat, veggies, stuff like that. So I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, here's the freezer, nice and organized. I got all of our like meal things in that bin. And then fridge is, was a little hard to organize. We have a lot of beverages right now, so tried my best, but we're not gonna get that much. So little we go. We just went to Lidl and Walgreens. Zane had to get some more allergy medicine. I had to pick up a gift. I have a friend's uh, college graduation party this weekend. So I just grabbed her a gift card and we went to Lidl. I didn't bring my camera, honestly, because I'm like, I don't know, I guess after Trader Joe's and I tried to vlog in there, it was like so hectic. I'm like, I'm not even gonna bring my camera in here, but Lidl is just so much more chill. And so I wish I did, because they actually had some like cool new stuff. They added a whole new section. I don't know if you guys care about this stuff. But anyways, they added like a whole new section. I vlogged on my phone a little bit um, of like Tostitos chips and dip. And they never had that before. I'm like, that's so helpful to know when you're like running out somewhere and you're like, I need to bring something. I need chips and dip. And they, now they have like a whole section of it. I mean, they had like their own brands, but now they have like Doritos, you know, stuff like that. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, it was really nice and chill. This is, we haven't spent this much at Lidl in a long time. It was like 190, I think. Yeah, that's like the most we spent in a while, but I'm so happy with everything we got. Steps in the right direction, you guys. If you watch my old food hauls, we used to get just like frozen and just like snacks and stuff like that. And now I'm eating much more like fresh stuff. I'm just proud of us. So I'm gonna get everything out on the table and I'll show you guys what we got. Okay, 
oh, have you guys missed a spread like this? It's been a really long time. You know how I realized it's been a long time? Because we had the bench here from the old table and I used to put stuff on there and then I like didn't have it and I was like, wait a second, I haven't done a haul big enough to have to put stuff on the bench, so it's felt weird. Okay, I always try to start to organize this and then it just becomes a mess, so bear with me. It's not really like categorized. Actually, it's really not categorized because we got tortellini and Oreos. <laughs> Okay, here's some randoms, frozen tortellini. I got a lot of good stuff, but we got a balance. You gotta have frozen meals for the days you just aren't feeling anything. Um, Oreos, of course. Uh, this is for a recipe tomorrow. We are making um, some sort of, I'm gonna keep it kind of a surprise, but some sort of stuffed potatoes. So we needed some fresh mozz. I got some feta cheese for salads. We needed more mouthwash, um, backup ketchup, egg whites. I love having these in the morning. And then we didn't get the flatbread at um, Trader Joe's, so I wanted to grab this one. I've never had it before, but it sounded delicious. So we got that. Um, we needed toilet paper. I really like the cheapy one. So a thousand sheets is bomb.com. Uh, so I like thin. Yeah, I know. That's weird. I also got another sauce. I've never tried this one before, but it just looked and sounded promising. Tomato basil, organic. Um, and then we've got a lot of fresh stuff. So we have all types of peppers. Mini peppers. These are bomb in the air fryer. Um, we got some green peppers and then some tricolor. I got both of these because, again, we're going to use a lot tomorrow for the recipe. Um, shishito peppers. This is the first time I saw shishito peppers at Lidl, and I was so excited. I'm so excited to eat those. I love shishito peppers. I love all types of peppers, honestly. I needed onions. So we got regular onions. We got shallots. Um, I got some frozen broccoli. I got this last time we were there, and it was really actually yummy. Like, when you do it in the microwave, like, defrost it or steam it or whatever, it tasted like it was fresh. So I really liked that one. I mean, it is fresh, but you know what I'm trying to say. Asparagus and then arugula, spinach, and then regular shredded lettuce, potatoes, bananas, some mini avocados. I love these because it's like the perfect serving size. Zane got some blackberries. I got some baby carrots, some grapes, apples, little tomatoes. And then sweet potatoes back here. I know it seems like a lot of fresh stuff. You're like, oh my God, that's gonna go bad. But honestly, like I will roast this whole thing of asparagus and eat it for lunch. I'm not even kidding you. Like I am a vegetable fiend. So I will like roast a whole, like I'll roast like an onion and peppers like sliced up on like a sheet pan and just like eat that with like maybe like a piece of chicken or something. Like I just love roasted vegetables. So I go through them very fast. They don't go bad, I promise. It's very rare that we throw out a vegetable. Some American cheese slices. I got this spinach dip for those crackers that I got at Trader Joe's. Hopefully this will go good with the um, jalapeno strawberry crackers. I don't know. But we have chips, if not. I have like lime chips from CVS, so. Um, I got three ribeye steaks because we need um, them for the recipe tomorrow and Zane and I eat them anyway, but I didn't know how much we needed, so I just went with three of them because we can always freeze it. And then Zane wants to try and make lamb chops, so we just got um, a little container of them. I think he's gonna marinate them. That's gonna be yummy. And then just some chicken thighs and chicken tenderloins. I actually wanted to meal prep chicken breasts, but I forgot. I was so focused on getting this stuff and then Zane got the meat. So, um, hiccuping. <laughs> so I just forgot to grab that, but that's fine. We have enough chicken for the next few days. I'm always at the grocery store anyway, too. Especially now that I go to the gym, I like didn't just stop on my way home. It's like, I know it sounds dumb, but it's like easier. Um, just some sandwich meat for sandwiches for lunch. This is our favorite bread, 647 Italian. Potato rolls. And then some eggs. We've recently switched to brown eggs, and Zane and I just think they taste better. So yeah. That is pretty much everything that we got. Time to put it all away. All right, you guys, check it out. Here is the finished result. We are nice and stacked up, but it all fit, so that was really nice. Okay, it is time for Zumba, ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite parts of the day. So I'm wearing this Amazon top. These are from American Eagle, I think. There's a fly in here, sorry. Got in, we were taking in groceries. And then my Nike sneakers. I'm bringing a little pack of peanuts for my ride there because I haven't really eaten that much today and I'm gonna be hungry. But when we get home from Zumba, we're gonna make a bomb dinner. I don't know what yet, but we've got all the ingredients. So, get my car keys. I don't know if I'm gonna film there. I'm gonna see the vibes, you know? I don't wanna be that person, but we'll see. Okay, water, phone, peanuts. No, that's keys. Keys, water, phone, peanuts. Out of here.
Hi, you guys. Wow, what a day. I just got back home from Zumba. I'm gonna go in in a little bit, but I love to sit in my car. It's just like one of my favorite pastimes. Oh, my battery's flashing. I just wanted to chat with you guys for a minute, but I guess I'm getting forced to talk really quickly. I wanted to say I forgot to mention that I met one of you guys in Lidl, and I'm one of those people that overthinks things, so I feel like um, she came up to me and said hi, and I was like, oh my god, what's your name? Da da da, like a few sentences back and forth, and I was like, it's so nice to meet you. Or it was so nice to meet you, and I felt like that made it seem like she needed to walk away. And then I was like to say, and I'm like, did I just rush her? Oh my god, I didn't mean to. Like, I wanted to have a conversation with her. <laughs> and I was overthinking it. So, I don't remember your name because I get nervous too when you guys come say hi. It's my favorite thing in the world, so please do if you see me in public. But, um, your name is slipping. But, if you're watching, I love you so much. And I hope you didn't think that I was rushing you to walk away. I was just wanted to say, like, it was so nice to meet you. <laughs> But I'm like, oh my god, did she think I like wanted her to walk away? Like, was I rude? <laughs> so I need to say that on the vlog because I feel like if she walked away and was like, oh my god, she like didn't even want to talk to me. I don't want her to think that. <laughs> Anyways, um, Zumba was so fun. I love everybody there. Like, literally, they're all my friends. Like, the people that come there regularly, you know? Like, we all like talk before the class and stuff. It's just so fun. Um, such a good atmosphere. My freaking skirt, though, from Amazon, this like um, belly dancing skirt. It's falling apart and the little beads are coming off and I don't want people to like trip and fall so I had to take it off at the end. Um, it's funny because there's one song that I know, I know a lot of the choreography but that one I'm like confident confident on and so she lets me like teach the class in a sense. But I didn't have my skirt for it, I was really sad. I was gonna put it back on but I'm like it's not worth the beads falling off and then someone falling and then suing me, like no thanks. So I'm gonna go on Amazon, actually I should do that right now and order a new skirt because um, by the time it comes, Amazon Prime, you know, shows up the next day. Um, I'll have it for the next class. Tomorrow morning is cycling. I have to go because I didn't go to the last one on Friday. I usually go Wednesday and Fridays and I didn't make it last Friday, so what was happening? Oh, I played tennis instead with Aaliyah. Um, I want to take advantage of like the nice weather. Like if I can work out outside, I'm going to work out outside, you know? Also, I had so much work to get done that morning. So stopping to go to... I know it sounds so dumb, like I could take that hour to go to the gym, but my mind would be going on other places and like it's just better if I feel like I should stay home and work and then go later. Um, okay, belly dancing hip scarf. Yes, I need a new one. Literally falling apart. <laughs> I'm so sad about it though because it's so pretty. You know what happens? It's not, it's like too big, so I have to tie it where like the beads are. I think that's why. I have some, I just realized I have some tucked in my waistband. I was picking them up while I was dancing. These little beads, like I don't want people falling on these. So, um, yeah, I have to tie it like where the beads are so I think it's from tying and tying it They're just like starting to fall off like the seat the things are coming off. So it's not the skirts fault. It's my fault It's just too big on me. Anyways <laughs> What are we gonna eat? Zayn went out to dinner with his cousins um, He invited me but I was like I don't want to miss Zumba <laughs> and he invited me today So like I couldn't plan ahead and I just love my Zumba class. I did not want to miss it So also I have so much editing to do like let's not ignore the fact that I have so much work to do so that needs to happen as well but i need to make myself some dinner and then work that's the plan okay i need one that has like a lot of fabric on the tie part so that it doesn't fall off but i like the black and gold like i want to keep that i know you guys hold it together hold it together what is this color what is it <laughs> arizona gifted me this t-shirt and so i'm lounging in it i have on shorts don't worry i'm lounging in it and um if you, if you know me at all you know just a, just a little out of my comfort zone just a little no we're sitting at home it literally doesn't matter i don't care what i lounge around in at home is it working for me though like i, I can't tell 
I can't tell what's going on here. Like if I got something serious in this color, could I wear it? I, this is just like a comfy t-shirt, but like if I got like a set or something. All right, crazy thoughts are happening. Let's calm it down. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm not in a bra. <laughs> Whatever. I'm doing what I told you guys I was gonna do. I'm just gonna roast a bunch of veggies in the oven. Very excited about it. I actually have some of this seasoning left over from HelloFresh. It's cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, garlic, coriander, cumin, cinnamon, dill seed, and bay leaves. It's a harissa powder. So I'm gonna put that on the veggies because I like it and it's yummy. So we're gonna go with that. Really random here. I'm gonna do an onion, a green pepper, some garlic, I have one little of these potatoes left, so I want to use it. I have a ton of potatoes, but let me just do that one little one. That's fine. And then a bunch of these little cherry tomatoes. So I'm going to rinse these off. And I'm literally just going to chop them all up and throw them on a sheet pan in the oven at 450 for probably like 15, 20 minutes maybe. Until they're like softened and yummy. You guys literally don't understand how much I love vegetables. Like I know that sounds like I'm being like, I love vegetables. No, like I literally, it's probably my favorite food group. I'm not even kidding. I know a lot of people are like, eat your veggies. And you're like, no. <laughs> but me, I'm like, yes, please. I want all of the vegetables. I just, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just love them. I mean, I don't think anything's wrong with me. I'm just saying like, no, typically people don't like vegetables. And maybe I just make them right, you know? <laughs> So I'm gonna do that, roast them in the oven. I'm also gonna do um, just some chicken thighs. I don't know how I'm gonna make them yet, but I think I'm gonna actually make a bunch of them, probably on a skillet or maybe in the air fryer. I haven't decided, but I wanna meal prep some of them because I got stuff for a salad. I got like lettuce and arugula and spinach, and I want like cold chicken to make a salad, so. That is that. Let's chop some veggies, shall we? By the way, I forgot to transition. My camera died. Well, I was talking to you guys in the car, but I ordered a new belly skirt. We'll let you know how it goes. Alrighty, you guys, I've got my chicken thighs laid out. I just um, pounded them so that the bigger sides were like more flat so they cook evenly. I'm gonna season, we're gonna do salt, pepper. Yes, I'm leaving the fat on, cause whatever. <laughs> Garlic powder. I'm gonna go kind of simple on the seasoning cause I know I wanna put it in a salad and I just want it to be kind of basic cause sometimes I do like an Italian flavored salad but sometimes I do like a Mexican flavored salad, so. Just simple, we're gonna do onion powder. I'm gonna do this on the other side too when it's in the pan. This kind of contradicts what I just said, but a little bit of Italian seasoning, just to give a little extra flavor. Very simple, honestly, I like chicken thighs with just salt and pepper, I think they're delicious, so whatever. I have vegetable oil heated up in the pan, and we're gonna put these seasoned side down. All right, so I always temperature my meat, but I'm probably gonna do like five minutes each side. And then here are my veggies. They're thriving in there. I'm gonna let them keep going though. And we're gonna season the other side too. I almost forgot. <laughs> You guys can tell let me bring you closer actually you get like this golden crust you hear that <laughs> if you get oil in the pan and the right temperature oh it's just like the best texture you can do like the simplest seasonings and it's just so good so um, my veggies look amazing I have them on broil actually they're done oh god broil happens so fast oh <gasps> no oh my god oh my god oh my god Alyssa Rose don't don't burn it down. Who puts rubber on the, whatever. It's not their fault. I'm just making excuses. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, okay. Let me not be dramatic. It's not that bad. Veggies are roasted toasted. I'm literally gonna put this all in a bowl with some chicken and then I'm gonna slice some up once it rests a little bit and put it in the fridge for salad tomorrow. It's gonna be so good. Well, hello. I smell you chefing it up around there. Really? Yeah. It smells good? Yeah. Just let it another. Oh, it's a firefly. I thought it was a, a fly. There's been a fly dorming with us all day. Okay. Yeah. 
Hmm, look what you made. I just roasted veggies and made chicken. Looks good, yo. I meal prepped more chicken so we can have salad tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow night we're doing the family cooking, but I figured for lunch. Yeah. Have a nice salad. Ooh. Yum. All right, let's cut up some of this chicken. Perfect. Juicy. Mmm. Perfect salad chicken. Mm hmm It really doesn't look that pretty. Maybe a little dollop of sour cream. That made it worse a little bit. <laughs> and I don't feel like going outside to get herbs. So a little dry herb on the sour cream. Make it look a little fancy. Okay. Okay. That actually doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's going to be delicious, but the presentation is not that cute. Do a little taste test for you guys. Can't leave you hanging. I would have liked the onions to roast a little bit longer, but I'm hungry and I need to eat. So we're going to take a little bit of an L on that one. Mmm, delicious. I really like the harissa seasoning. I want to see if I can get it pre-made in like its own container. I love chicken and veggies, but not like boring, just like grilled chicken breasts. Like chicken thighs are where it's at for me. And I just like them like roasted and just like not like steamed. You know, like I want to make it like taste really good. This is my version of grilled chicken and vegetables. I just had to update you guys because the tomatoes got like, you know, roasted in the oven so they got like juicy and it's like mixing with the sour cream and creating like a sauce oh my god it's delicious like wow this little throw it together meal is so good <laughs> just had to share that i'm enjoying it a lot look at me go dishes are cleaned i even cleaned out our whole like water jug you want water i like soaked down all of it you know like deep clean put in a new filter so that's nice and fresh i cleaned all my dinner stuff look at my chicken you guys can you tell on camera how like juicy and delicious it was oh <gasps> my god it's gonna get cold overnight in the fridge and it's gonna be so good for salad tomorrow don't mind my cat he's get he will get in getting in We'll take bath in the sink. Is that good? Oh. Anyways, I'm just really proud of this chicken. And it is so good. I keep taking pieces out of it. So I'm going to put it away now. <laughs> is that so good? Best water ever. I'm literally taking a bath in it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Ben. We stay hydrated out here. What a king. Full switch of positions. I also already got my water jug filled for tomorrow. So very happy about that because I'm cycling early in the morning and I'm usually like rushing around a little bit. So I have my cup clean. I got my water filled. Oh, I'm so excited. Also some random updates for you guys. I got my camera back in the mail. They ended up sending me a refurbished one. It was kind of like unfixable. It was just like broken to the max. So I got a new camera. So now I have a backup, which is amazing for hopefully not. But if this one were to break, I also got some stuff from Bondi Sands. They were having a sale I don't remember what it was for but it was like buy one get one free I think on the mooses so I went ahead and grabbed two of my favorite one this is the liquid gold I really just love the undertone of it it's not like green or red it's kind of like olivey and then I got like a free tan eraser which I actually use this all the time so that's cool and I also went ahead and got the um, sheet protector for tanning so basically it's like a black satin and it, it stays in like this little pouch let me open it usually I'll just put like a set of sheets laid on top of our white sheets like I have like a gray set hello so that I don't ruin my sheets and it's not a big deal I just throw the sheet on top and then put on a different pillowcase. Um, but this might make my life a little easier. So it comes in this nice little pouch. I don't want to open it up right now, but basically it's like a satiny material. And from what I understand, it's got like a spot for your pillow up top that you just slide into it. And then it's almost like a sleeping bag, but the reviews are really good. They said it doesn't feel like confined, like you're sleeping in a sleeping bag, but it's like the idea that you like go inside of the thing. So um, I'll let you guys know when I use it next, if I, uh, like it. You are crazy today. What do you want? Attention. You didn't get to watch your show today, is that why? I think I'm gonna love it though, cause satin is like very cooling material. Like the pillowcases that we have, I love them. So yeah, I think I'm gonna like it. And it's good for tanning too. Like cotton, you just feel like it's like absorbing your tan. It's kind of like, you know, but satin, it feels like you're sitting on top of it rather. If that made any sense, I wasn't English, I'm getting tired. These are just the best nights for me though. Like I got what I needed to get done. I mean. I have so much editing to do. I'm going to try and edit before I go to bed. I probably will fall asleep and have to just do it all tomorrow. But I wanted to go grocery shopping and I wanted to, like, there was a few other things on my to-do list that I got it all done today. 
sorry the light went out in our kitchen this one now that last time that one went out now this one went out they covered it though and sent us a new one so hopefully they send us another new one but i got everything done had a nice healthy dinner have everything set up for tomorrow the dishes are done it's just a good feeling like these are the best the best feelings these this fly though he really just wants to stay for good get him benji oh i think i just saw him where'd he go oh my god the drama where benji go i mean where did the fly go where the fly go oh did you see it i actually don't know where it went fly not me trying to call the fly is it in the light no ow that hurt my eyes benjino oh, i think he's got it he's got it he's got it ladies and gentlemen one of the best things about cats is them getting the bugs oh, i hear it it's a loud one you want to help too bailey bailey to the rescue Oh, I missed that jump. That was a big leap. You do the long distance jump. <laughs> He's gonna talk to it now. Bailey is here for backup, don't worry. By the way, I feel like I haven't given an update on Bailey in a long time. Oh my God, Benji, you always have to steal the show. Ever since we put her on adult food, she has been slimming out so much. She is a lot less chunkers than she used to be. So I'm not worried. I'm very glad, actually. I was a little bit worried at first, but you're fine. But you are kind of cute when you were chunkers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're still adorable, but the chunky is so cute. I see that they've already given up on me, though. They'll probably get it in the middle of the night and knock something down. <laughs> also, look how cute my little thing is now that it's full. I might have to put the onions and shallots in the fridge since it's summertime. It's a little warmer in here. I feel like they just stay a lot better in the fridge in general, so might have to do that. And I want to take them out of the things, but whatever. <laughs> nice and stocked up. Also, this hanging here was a... <gasps> oh my god, I thought I ripped it off the wall. <laughs> Oh, I did. Oh my God, I just oh. Oh, rest in peace. Okay, this was a sling to carry Bailey around and I, I bought it on Amazon and never used it. So here we are. I wonder if I could still return it, actually. Look how freaking cute that picture is. She was so little. <laughs> it's about that time, yes. Oh, oh the flies in here <laughs> gives me shivers. <coughs> shivers down my spine. Not me choking on the Hershey's kiss I just ate. Oh man. I'm gonna uh, brush my teeth, take off my makeup, put in my retainer, <clears throat> all of the above, and get ready for bed. I'm gonna try and edit when I get into bed, but I bet when my. Ah! It drives me nuts! Benji, be a cat, bro. It's so loud. Why is it so. Get it, guys. Come on. It's on the wall. Do you see it right above that picture frame? Yeah, get it. I need to close the door so I can brush my teeth. Sorry, guys. Get the, get the fly. Okay, bye. Anyways, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by that fly. What was I even saying? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try and edit when I get into bed, but I doubt it's gonna happen. And I need to upload a vlog tomorrow that still needs to be edited. And then I need to have a vlog edited and sent in for approval by the next day too. And tomorrow I'm vlogging. So we've just got a lot to do. It's just a lot. <laughs> but I'm just gonna take one thing at a time. I believe in myself. Actually, I'm just gonna end this here because I should really just like focus up and try to edit. So, is my camera like, what's going on? Oh, duh. <laughs> Actually, that's not good lighting, but I'm gonna end this here. I love you guys so much. Sorry if this was a shorter vlog. Um, I just have a lot going on right now, but I love you guys so much. Hopefully you enjoyed it anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Scentbird linked down below and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. I felt this coming